Hey everybody, welcome back to another Nature's Always Right video. Today I'm going to show you guys the results of my plug tray versus windstrip tray versus soil block transplant starting and show you guys the results, all the different days that I filmed and the progression of how they grew and even today on May 19th I'm going to show you guys here in the beginning of the video what it looks like right now with all my peppers, the full grown squash and just how well everything did in the bootstrap farmer grow bags. So I was really satisfied with the growth and how everything's doing, the soil mix that I used and, and all of that stuff. Now I could have done a little bit better job probably recording each day and showing the results, but you'll still be able to see how things did and it was just a little tricky to come out here every day and film it and I should have taken a little bit more time just to show in depth so that we could really see the differences, but hopefully there's enough uh, film here and it was done decently enough so that you can get an idea of what you thought might have done better. I would say that there wasn't gigantic differences uh, between them and it kind of depended on each grow bag too. So there was a lot of different little variables that could have changed. You know, the drip system wasn't set up perfectly for each of these grow bags. So, so that definitely probably played into whether or not each plant did super well or not. So it wasn't as controlled of a test as I would have liked it to be. Um, but having said that, I know I was really happy with all three of the results. You know, the wind strips and the soil blocks with meshed trays seemed to look the best. But ultimately, you know, by the time everything got bigger and full grown, everything grew to be really healthy plants. So I'll let the video speak for itself and you guys can check that out. And I tried to organize the clips as well as I could. And there's going to be a little date in the upper left hand corner. And then in the bottom it will tell you what the test was. So let's just start out with showing you guys what everything looks like right now a few weeks later. So this is wind strip. Open bottom. These are wind strips in a 1020. These are plug tray. These ones are soil block mesh. Still soil block mesh. And some of the soil blocks in 1020 I already harvested, but here's a couple more. And then these weren't part of the test, but just to show you guys, here's my, all the different peppers that I'm growing doing really well in the grow bags. Hey guys, so we're about two days after transplant on all of these. So this is the wind strips that I'm gonna go over right now. This is a wind strip. Looks like the drip irrigation is working well enough to keep them alive. So these are the wind strips. Already recovered. This is the wind strips in a 1020. And then this is soil block in mesh. This is soil blocks in a 1020. Okay, these are plug trays right here. Just wind strips. 
wind strip and a 1020. This is wind strip 1020. So block mesh. Soil block mesh really look good. Everything's looking a lot better after I get the thorough watering. Regular wind strip. Slow block mesh. Slow block 1020. This plug tray. Just wind strip. Today's April 14th. Soil block mesh. Here's soil block in a 10 20. Just wind strips on the open bottom. This is wind strip in a ten twenty. Okay, these are the soil blocks with mesh. This is soil blocks with 1020. Soil block with mesh. Soil block in a 1020. A plug tray lettuce. All plug tray. This is wind strip. Those open bottom. It's 
this wind strip 1020. Still wind strip 1020. This is soil block mesh. These are soil block mesh. This is soil block 1020. So today is April 28th. These are plug trays.